people. Go ahead and fire away. Yeah, evening, Coach. Uh, seemed like you guys were really intent on making it an end-to-end -end game. Yeah, um, they wanted to play fast, and I, I just felt we were faster than them, so we wanted it to be an up-and-down game. Um, in the second half, they slowed the pace uh, quite a bit, but in, in the first half, we, we enjoyed getting up and down the floor. And is uh, limiting the turnovers still kind of a work in progress? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you, 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 we, we saw it. 20, 20 assists, you know, you're good with. Um, we had two guys that, that had 11 assists combined. And uh, so we got to look at that. And uh, you get rid of that, you know, or cut that down, then we're getting closer to where we want to be. And how good was Marquise in uh, creating tonight? Uh, he, he did a great job of reading the defense and, um, and then, you know, figuring out their tags and making the right read and delivering the ball on time on target. He was really good. All right, Coach Tang, thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kellis. Yeah, Jerome, congrats on the win. Uh, first up, I wanted to ask, how encouraging was it to see David play like that in the post for you? Oh, no, it was it was really good. We really challenged him to, to use his speed right. and athleticism and, you know, just right. uh, make a difference out there. And uh, he really responded well. And uh, so I was very, very pleased and happy for him. Since you've been out there, you felt like the teams come together any bit more. I mean, I know you bond all the time, but uh, as a trip like this. Yeah, you know, our, 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 our issue is not chemistry uh, off the court. And uh, we we will still learning each other on the court and and learning how to be better basketball players, you know, and that, that that's the thing. And and sometimes um, we a lot of times we've been stopping ourselves, and so we that's the thing that that the growth that has to take place. And uh, what what's your schedule now? How late do you guys stay up game planning for Nevada? Uh, well, the, the scouts already done. Um, we're not going to show film till tomorrow morning to them on Nevada. And, uh, but, you know, we got to figure out, um, we know who they are. We got to figure out how we can score against them. I think they're like the number one, two point field goal percentage defense in the country and number three, three point field goal percentage defense in the country. So we have to, you know, figure out, you know, how to manipulate them so that uh, we can get good shots. All right. Thanks, Jerome. Good luck tomorrow. Nope. Thank you. Uh, next question to D. Scott. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? Congrats. Doing, doing wonderful, man. Good, good. Uh, what did Naquan do best tonight? He ran. You know, he just ran, and he was very active. And um, Naquan can do a lot of different things on the basketball court. And uh, today he allowed his speed to, to be a difference. And it was both defensively and then transitioning to the offensive end. I mean, since the beginning, his first game, he had 14 points, eight boards. How have you maybe seen him progress a little bit more since that first game? I think he's a little more locked in on the defensive end. Um, his rotation's a little better. He's staying in the stance more. Um, you know, not getting beat off the bounce quite as easy. Uh, so, you know, he's, he's growing and he's, he's learning as a player. When he really gets going, how dominant could he be? He could be, I mean, he could be an all-conference player. So, um, I mean, and, uh, you see it. The talent is there. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Uh, next question to Barney. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about your, uh, obviously you were pretty effective in transition, but also your half-court offense uh, you really did a good job attacking the mess today. Yeah, you know, um, there were some uh, things that we saw in film that we could take advantage of. And I thought in the first half, we did a really good job of that. Uh, I thought in the second half, we wasn't quite as effective, maybe over dribbled a little too much. Um, but our, our guys, you know, um, did a good job, especially early, uh, you know, paying attention and um, be, being, being the aggressor. Marty, did you have another question? I'm good. 
next question. Next question to Tim. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Um, I, I wanted to ask about Bebe. He got the got the start and played a little bit at the beginning, and then he sat for, for most of the game, and he, he came back in in the end. Was it just a, a deal where you could tell just it wasn't going to be his game because of how up and down it was? Um, yeah, I actually David started the game and played really well. And um, I, 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 I don't – uh, Bebe wasn't as locked in defensively as he needed to be today. And so um, I don't know what it was. Maybe we didn't do a good job of preparing him or, or relaying the information to him of what we wanted to see, but he didn't execute it out there today. So um, tonight was his night. And then Taiki had had another moment. They, they get it to, I think, 13 there early in the in the second half and then he he comes in and he hits a three for you how how nice is it to have someone like him to come off the bench and and make a play for you and kind of get things back on track yeah no uh it, you know taiki being a veteran having played in big games before and uh you know he's a double figure score uh, for his you know in last year and um, I think he can be a double figure scores for us this year off the bench I, I'd like to see him be a you know, a little bit more aggressive and um then we're going to figure out ways to use them better. But it, it's, I mean, experience wins, you know, that that's what it is when you have, you know, Keys and, and Desi and Taiki and Keontae guys who have played, you know, for four years in college, um, that, that that helps you right there. And so Taiki's a veteran and very proud of it. And then can you kind of walk us through the, the, the double technical ejection situation at, at the end of the game? Yeah, I hadn't seen it, um, so I, I really can't comment on it. The ref said um, they both got a tech initially, and then they they both turned and still faced each other, and so he gave them a second tech and ejected them. Um, you know, uh, I'm glad this is not football where you have to, you know, miss the first half of the next game. So, um, but uh, I, I'll, I'll look at it in film, see, see, see what happened, but I really can't comment on it. Why it happened or how it thanks, Jerome. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you, Tim. Uh, any, any other questions, questions for coach? Okay, fellas, well, you guys you, are the best. Thank you so much. Go, cats. <laughs>